the most time we took is, I think, about trade, and not trade in general, but CETA is indeed what we all want. And if that works, uh, it could be an example for other trade agreements. We are working with uh, the Commissioner Cecilia Malmström and with the Minister President of the Wallon Region and we try to uh, explain more and more the treaty but also the uh, interpretative declaration. There's no question that uh, trade, notably free trade, creates opportunities, it creates uh, jobs, it creates prosperity and uh, we need to conclude the trade agreement with Canada and we need to go forward with the trade agreements with both uh, Japan and of course the US. The Canadian agreement has been online for two years in English, uh, since uh, be before the summer in all languages. We have been discussing and negotiating this for a very, very long time. There has been all the time in the world to discuss this. And what the NGOs have been calling for in trade agreements for years is actually in CETA. There are very strong provisions on labour rights, human rights, there's even animal rights uh, referred to in, in there. There is um, uh, sustainable development, a commitment to work uh, together on the, the climate goals of Paris. So it's a very, um, I would say, value-based trade uh, agreement. Transparency of the whole process. Um, so indeed, it is difficult. The seven prime ministers are backing, of course, the Commission and Commissioner Malmström on this. They all, but we know that Charles Michel is Prime Minister of Belgium. He can only ratify if Wallonie also accepts it. And it's in his hands. We should give him the leverage to do so. But time is short. Mm -hmm.